<laughs> We've done twenty one K already. So I just discovered that I've been riding the e-bike but without the e part a good while now. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin. Now it is the end of May and Banff is running a three year cycling pilot program on the highway 1A. It's the Bow Valley Parkway and it is the road that takes you out to Johnson Canyon. They are closing this road between the 1st of March and the 25th of June and then the 1st of September to the 1st of October this year to try and give cyclists more space to ride and get less vehicles off the road. So my friend and I are taking advantage of our ambassador passes today. It's a pass you can get if you live in Banff and it gives us a free two hour e-bike rental at Backtracks. So we are going to head into Backtracks, get our e-bikes. We'll probably have to extend beyond the free two hours. So I'll let you guys know how much that costs. Um, and we are gonna ride out to the 1A. We're going to do the closed stretch, have a picnic, and then hopefully do the hole in the wall hike. So that is the plan for the day. So come along with me to see what this experience is like. I'm already running late for my day. Tam and I are meeting in 15 minutes and it is definitely a 20 minute walk into town. But that's okay. I'm gonna speed walk there. It looks like it's gonna be such a beautiful day. I'm so excited. e-bikes for the day turns yes. out the ambassador pass doesn't work for e-bikes just for normal bikes but also quite cheap <laughs> yeah considering we've got these on a day rate it's about 80 dollars, and then they'll give us a locals discount too so we are ready to go does it just start you want to start riding probably yeah mine doesn't say on yeah mine says like off. Oh, yeah, the bears are we in the bear enclosure <laughs> yes <laughs> the animal oh wait, 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 wait. you got it Okay, that's my <laughs> I did it! The animal gate trapped us. <laughs> We've made it through Vermilion Lakes and now we just have to pass under the highway and over to the Bow Valley Parkway. And we have probably like, what, 35 k's to go? <sighs> so We're riding along. Right. We found our first wildlife of the day. There's a little bighorn sheep down there. I thought it was a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Just convinced they're mountain goats, but they're not. <laughs> they all look the same, don't they? <laughs> I'm gonna show you a photo of a mountain goat. <laughs> the e-bikes are not made for hills. <laughs> I had to get off and walk because I stopped and I couldn't get it moving again. <laughs> doesn't work. It's so heavy. <laughs> We've been riding for how long? Oh wow. It's, it's We've done 21k already. Oh, it's been over an hour, yeah. We've been riding for a while. We should be close to the end of like the close section, but we'll see. So I just discovered that I've been riding the e-bike, but without the e-part for a good while now. I was exhausted. I got up and walked my bike because I was so tired. And then I realized the uh e-bike part of it was not actually working so we fixed it and now it's so much easier we made it to the end the end of well the one where we can stop in we now. made it halfway yeah. <laughs> we've ridden 25k and it's been an hour and a half now we're gonna call tristan to pick us up <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, we have stopped, we have had a snack, and now we are gonna start making our way back. I hate it because we know like what's to come now. <laughs> or is that better? I loved the downhills on the way here, but now we know they're uphills, so we'll see how we go. Have your e-bike on this time though, and it'll be easier. I think it's on. I think we're good. <laughs> All right, we're off. We just like. Marlow something. I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like it's close. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we stopped at the Mule Shoe picnic area for lunch. Um, we've pretty much had the whole space to ourselves. We have stunning views. We got lake over here. <laughs> Except for our little groundhogs, they've been hanging around us. So we have yeah, there's been so many animals just like playing around us. But we just had a picnic here and then we are going to finish the rest of our ride home. The rain seems to be just coming down in patches all around us and we've missed most of it though. So hopefully we can keep going that way. If the blue skies are there, just like stay with us and follow us that way. That's the idea. That's the direction we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Bighorn sheep friend from earlier is still exactly where we left him. made it off the legacy trail we stopped at vermilion lakes for a quick sit down and enjoy the view before we head back into town after riding back i think we decided that the way back was more downhill than the way there because getting back seems so easy we took more stops for like photos and videos and whatnot um and stop for our picnic but getting back seems absolutely seamless so I think it was an easier ride and more downhill and definitely worth having the e-bikes <laughs> yeah time was saying so it was just so much easier so I was saying we could have had no e-bikes no e-bikes but you didn't even <laughs> I like the e-bike <laughs> we considered doing this without e-bikes but I think it would have been a lot harder and a lot less enjoyable it's <laughs> a lot. But yeah, we've ridden 50k, so we are almost back though. You guys have fun? Yeah, it was actually so good. I'm so sore right now. <laughs> what was the review on the day? Um, successful, sore bum, 
great views. <laughs> Love it. We've made it back to Backtracks. Time to return the bikes and I'll let you guys know how much it cost. So we're all done, the bikes have been returned. It cost us $75.60 for the day. We picked them up at, what time did we get them? Nine? Like 8.45. Yeah, we got them at like 8.45 and we've just returned them. And it's, what time is it? And it's 1.30. So we got, we just paid the full day rate so we could have had them for longer, but we had no more need for them. So they are back in Backtracks. I love Backtracks if you're ever in town, they do so much stuff for rental and it's just awesome. They're really, really friendly too. So highly recommend it. It's been a great day. See ya. Bye.